the AB Shutter 3. It's a Bluetooth remote for like phones and iPads and whatever. So like if it's an Android thing that you're doing, that one, you press that, so like that switch turns it on and you press that. But if it's iOS, like mine is, then you press that and if it's on picture, then it'll take the picture for you. So if you've got something to prop it on, you can just do that. And like in videos, you can um so if you're recording a video and you want to end it without going up to the, the th thing you're recording on and pressing the um end button or whatever it is on whatever device you're using, you just press that and it'll stop. So you don't have to look like a noob going up to the thing in the video. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think it's pretty cool. I like it. So, wait, let me get the things for it. Um, uh, if I can find it. Nah. I had instructions for it so I could explain it, but you know, whatever. So like, but it's all right because I have, I have YouTube. So, um, okay. Pairing. Okay. Hopefully, whoever this is, oh, there, there's a name. Him. Couldn't explain it better. So you connect it through Bluetooth. Turn it on. There it is. Just press it. This one's white, but like whatever. It's alright. Like it says. Oh, sorry. So simple as that, it's connected. In the video, he only showed you um, it work working with photos, but it works with videos as well on the camera. If you go to video, you can start and stop a video by doing that. And to make the video play again, just do the same thing. Three, two, one, and the video is unfrozen. So, simple as that. Um, I got it with a little flexible tripod that I bought, but altogether that was like nine pounds. So just um, that on its own, with the instructions, will probably only cost like three or four pounds. So yeah, I think pretty cool. It's good for YouTube.